this example, we're going to calculate what size or how many suction cups you need to lift an object. So if we're given mass of the object, lift acceleration, acceleration due to gravity, safety factor, and air pressure, first let's find what is the minimum suction cup diameter that you could use to lift this with a single cup. And then second, we'll find that what is the number of cups needed if we only have cups of a certain given diameter D. So the, for the procedure here, step one is draw the free body diagram. Step two is figure out what suction force we need. Step three is use that suction force along with the safety factor to calculate cup diameter. And then step four is if we need or have cups of a given diameter, then calculate how many are needed. Finally, once you get either answer and you figure out how many cups you're going to use or what size cup, verify with the manufacturer. So we'll start by drawing the free body diagram. So we have the object to be lifted. We'll say suction force comes up. Acceleration is also going up. Weight goes down. Then we sum up the forces. Mass times acceleration. So that would be suction force minus weight. So suction force equals M times A plus G. So if we put numbers into there, we'll have 5, 2 plus 9.81 equals 59 newtons. But we need to include the safety factor on here and get the final force. because the safety factor was three. But now this force is actually not something that we directly measure because what well, we're given in the problem is pressure. So to find the diameter of the cup, we need to get the pressure times the area, which equals the force. But area of a circle is pi d squared over four. So now we can solve for D. Now we put that 6895 in the bottom because there are 68.95 pascals per PSI, and we need to work this in metric units. So this comes out to be 0 0.018 meters, which equals 18 millimeters. That is a reasonable size for a suction cup. But what if we don't have that size suction cup? What if we only have 10 millimeter suction cups or the 10 millimeter suction cups are whatever's right for picking up ice cream. Um, they only come in certain standard sizes or we don't want to use just one cup, we want to use an array. What is the minimum number of cups that we need? Well, we need to cover the same area with the smaller cups as we do with the bigger cup. So really what we need to do is compare areas. So area equals pi d squared over four, which equals n, say n is number of suction cups, times pi, the smaller diameter squared over four. Well, this part's 
cancel. So n equals d squared over d squared equals 18 millimeters squared over 10 millimeters squared equals 3.24, but we can't just use a quarter of a suction cup, so we always round up to a whole cup. So one cup if it was 18 millimeter diameter, four cups if it's 10 millimeter diameter.